kind of... Good morning, kids, and welcome to our online no, service. No, 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 no. We're, we're actually at the end. We're wrapping everything up. For real? Yeah. We talked about taking a stand for the things of God. What's this? Oh, it's just some sort of machine that... No! Caleb, it's been a whole week. If this thing was going to do something, it would have done it already. Let's... Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome oh. back to our online service. Great to see all of you. Good morning. Well, if you're watching this at night, good evening. And if you're watching this in the middle of the day, good afternoon. Good uh, midday. We, we get the picture. Good they, pre they get the, Kids, you get the picture, right? Good snackity snack. <sighs> you know, we're not going to worry about this. Hey, uh, first things first, we need to open in prayer. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and bow your heads, close your eyes, and gentlemen, remove your hats. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much that we have the privilege of working in kids' ministry, Lord, where we get to work with kids and families to bring hope and joy and peace to homes all over the world. Lord, we pray that you bless this service. We pray a special blessing on all of our families that are watching this morning. Lord, help us to learn the valuable lesson that sometimes we have to be uncomfortable so that good work can be done. Yes, Lord. Lord God, I pray for patience when we're walking through these uncomfortable times and Lord, strength because we know that's what's required. Lord God, thank you for this service and thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name we pray. And they all said, Amen. Amen. All right, we're so glad you guys are here today. We have some fantastic stuff planned. As I'm ready. Wait, where's Sean and Caleb? I don't know. Uh, they're supposed to be filming service right now, That's though. What? Hey, they built it. On. They finished building it. Oh. 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 Welcome to Reporter Harry's Hey Everybody I got a question for you Hey Everybody this Justin Hey Everybody Uncomfortable Challenges Francis get down from their Hey Everybody game show. Now, here is your host, Reporter Harry. Hi everybody! Welcome to the game show of challenges of games and challenges! Hi everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Reporter Harry's Hey Everybody I got a question for you Hey Everybody this Justin Hey Everybody Uncomfortable Challenges Francis get down from their Hey Everybody game show. Hey everybody! This is a game where you are trapped here with four locks. The only way to escape each lock is by either answering a trivia question correctly, or completing an uncomfortable challenge. Hey everybody! Each one of you has their own lock, thereby, forcing each of you to play. If you fail, you will be locked in this game show forever. Hi everybody! Sorry. I meant, if you fail, you will be locked in this game show for infinity. Hi everybody! Hey everybody! This game show is brought to you by... Pootsie's Video of the Week Reviews. Hello! And welcome to Hootsie's Video of the Week Review! This is a segment where we show you different videos of kids doing funny stuff. <laughs> Let's watch some videos. I'm Lil Stunts. I'll 
be jumping off this roof and swinging and hopefully not getting hurt. Remember kids, always wear two belts and a helmet. It's safer. That's why you gotta wear a helmet, kids. And two belts. Without them, I would have gotten seriously hurt. Thank you for watching your videos. Don't forget to send us more videos. Hello! Welcome to the first round of your uncomfortable challenges. Okay, I guess one of us needs to volunteer to go first. Well, since this is the first round, there's probably more rounds and they're probably gonna get worse as we go on. Mm -hmm. So definitely save you for the last round. I, well, could go, I, I could go first if you'd like. No, I think the easiest round is going to be the first one. Oh. So Molly, why don't you Pretty take good. the easiest round, okay? okay? Welcome to the circle of uncomfortability. Here is your question. What four-wheeled device did Tyrus fall off? A skateboard. That is incorrect. It's a cop, a skate wheel thingamajiggy with it. And now you have to face your uncomfortable challenge. <laughs> For your uncomfortable challenge, you have to face watered and feathered. I'll be right back. What's happening? <laughs> Not so fast! You have to do it yourself to unlock the lock! You mean, I did this for nothing? Yeah! <laughs> you did it for nothing! Oh, come on! You can't escape the lock challenge! Molly's victory is brought to you by Molly standing in her worship circle. When I was searching, your love was never far. To me, you were the whisper leading me to your heart. Forever, I belong to you. Now I can see clearly my God, you for me. You won't let go. Your love won't let me down. And I know it's true. Yeah, I know that your love is all around. I believe in you. Holding on to you, holding on and I know you will never fail I want all of you, you never change your love won't let me down Love won't let me
I want all of you, you never change your love. This is craziness. Yep. It's just, it's just making me a little uncomfortable. Just, I don't know what's gonna happen, and it's reporter Harry. <laughs> hey, first of all, calm down. This is making us all uncomfortable. I don't even know how many, I mean, I guess there's four rounds, so I'm hoping that we can unlock all the locks to get out of this crazy place. Maybe we'll get like we just, free candy or we something. Just need to, we just need to get all the locks, okay? Sooner the better. And free candy. And now it's time for some magic stuff, cause magic rhymes with hammer. But Did before someone we say magic, you have fun. All right, I can't do this again. Listen, when I snap, you come, because that's how they get to the experience. How did Are I you ready? Get here again. Tell me, boy. Do you ever wander across the plains of mystery? What is in the bag? Let's find out. And they're back. Now, for my first trick, which you will be amazed. Do you ever pick stuff? Yes. Good. Then you will pick a card, and it will be magical. I can. <laughs> All you have to do is say switch. And I start making a new pile, do you understand? I understand. Okay, I start laying them down. You say switch, and I switch. Switch. You say switch, and I switch! Switch. switch. Right is right. <laughs> now, you have but two cards. Pick a card. Right. You are left. But one card, but before a reveal, I will write a prediction. The king of diamonds. Pull the card and find out. Is it the card? Not <laughs> doing you magic. <laughs> Tell me, young squire, what card was it that you selected? Can I tag somebody in? No. <laughs> what card was it? I picked up the two of hearts. Okay. One of which is magic. Do you ever wander alone in the streets? <laughs> no. Good. I want you to take six numbers and count them aloud as you slide them into the box of mystery. One, two, three, four, five. Are you sure? Positive, six. Good. We're good. Shake the box up. Set it down. Now you open the box and select a number. But don't look, because I don't want you to cheat. Take any number. Do you have but one? I do. Good. What number is it? Five. Five! That is my egg. I will hold it in my mouth. You pick an egg. <laughs> Two, you say. But also incorrect. Now choose again, but choose wisely. I'm gonna have to go with six. No! That's not correct. The correct choice in the beginning was number five. What does it say? Two hearts. That's no! It's incorrect! It's true, it said five! You!
Welcome to round number two. Now it is time to pick the next contestant. Francis, you gotta make those lights go all crazy time, Francis. Good cat. It's a good one. Okay, guys, before we choose, we need to understand that life is uncomfortable sometimes. Why? It just is, that's life. So, Ben, you're my son. I I'll do it. That. Welcome to the circle of uncomfortability. Here is your question. Which egg was the magic egg? Um, egg number five. That's incorrect. The correct answer was 156 eggs. <laughs> Hi, everybody. But th there's only six eggs. Well, either way, if you stare at the sun long enough, your eyeballs will catch fire. Since you are incorrect, you will now have to complete an uncomfortable challenge. Attention. These blokes are trained professionals. If you are not a trained professional, or like to pretend that you are, then stop watching right now. Furthermore, do not try this at home. Ever. Right! Welcome to your magical experience! What's happening? Uncomfortable challenge! First, we wrap your face in aluminum. Foil! Yes! Step in! Put the helmet! Explosions on your head. <laughs> Make an air hole so you can breathe. Are you ready? Can, I think so. Can I you can smell it? it? What a light! We're going to experience something great. Oh, good. is heating up! What competition? Who are we competing against? Yeah, like we're competing against the machine. Well, if you ever drop your sunglasses in molten steel, you may as well forget about putting them on again. That makes sense. Oh, they're melted. Congratulations. You have entered Frank's world. Where'd my sandwich go? Mm. I need to eat my sandwich. Junior, you're, you're making me really uncomfortable here. Mm -hmm. what, what, do you, what do you mean you're welcome? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's what they mean today by being uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Junior, Junior, no, no, Junior, no, Junior, stop it, stop. <laughs> Whoa, what's up like furry Sasquatch? It's Tutu. Whoa, what's up like furry dude? She's a girl. Like, what's that box you're holding? Because I like totally want that box. Whoa, calm down. We're in nature. You should be at like peace with nature. How about I give you this? And we make a trade. Is that a, like a deal? There you go. 
Like, give me the box. Whoa! We, like, totally scored stuff in this box. Let's go find a place in nature to put it. Welcome to round number three. Once again, it is time to pick the next contestant. Okay, there's two locks left, and two of us haven't gone yet. So for right. this next one, which two haven't which gone one? yet? Really? One, two. Oh yeah. Sorry. Oh, I forgot. Well, he's still recovering from his injuries. That is true, Sean. Are you okay to do one of you those? Know, you should. I'm cool with it. You know, you can't avoid being uncomfortable in this life. And besides that, the hospital gave me a fall risk bracelet. Oh, yeah, that's right. What? I'll explain that later. I'll go. Welcome to the circle of uncomfortability. Here is your question. What was the name of Frank's friend? Junior! The answer is Junior. Once again, that's incorrect! His name was Mr. Fancy. He was called that because he wore fancy barbecue sauce trousers. And now it is time to complete an uncomfortable challenge. I'm Coach Champ Wilson, and this is your challenge of uncomfortability. It's all about trying to overcome being a couch potato. And the best way to overcome being a couch potato is to be a couch potato. Yeah! So for this, you're gonna sit on this couch, and you're gonna get uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Sports! Sports. Yeah! Ready to get uncomfortable? Explode up! Explode up. I don't know. You're gonna pull this couch because it's gonna be very uncomfortable. I don't think this is safe! I was really uncomfortable being on that couch, especially as the couch hit those tires, but I did it. Mm -hmm. I'm you so sure you okay? You I'm fine. I'm awesome. a little banged up. Definitely was uncomfortable, but you know what, guys? I couldn't help it as I was riding on that couch. I couldn't help but, but think about something. Okay. Do you remember back when I hurt myself riding my board? Mm -hmm. I can't let something like uncomfortability stop me from doing things that are extraordinary. So I wrecked the other week. I have scars on my hands. I have a scar on my forehead. I had stitches. I have a scar here on my knees. In fact, do you guys want to see the photos? Uh, no, no, not again. No, no, do you guys want to see the photos? No, 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 no. Some other time. Veto. See, yes, I was hurt and I was definitely uncomfortable. But what I realized is anytime you try to do something new or you try to do something hard, mm -hmm. you are going to be uncomfortable. And most of what God calls us to do the extraordinary things he wants us to do in this life are hard, and therefore you are going to be uncomfortable. Mm. In fact, in the Bible, in Philippians 4.13, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yep. Now that verse sounds awesome. It sounds like you can do amazing things because Jesus is gonna strengthen you. But there's one word that people often overlooked. In fact, for years, I overlooked the one word. You know what the word was? What? Strengthen. Everyone mm. focuses on the I can do all things, I can, I can run and I can grab donuts and throw them at the fan. I can do all kinds of stuff. Mm. But what they don't think about is the word strengthen. The process of getting strong is very painful and it's very uncomfortable. Mm. Yeah. But you can't get stronger until you go through that uncomfortability. So, I wanna do something. I have not been back on my board since the accident. So to prove that sometimes you have to be uncomfortable, my board is right over there and I am going, in fact, the blood stains are still on it. Dude. I'm gonna jump back on it and ride it right now to prove that uncomfortability is part of it. All right, you, oh, that's you not sure? A good idea. Yep, it's gonna be fine. This is the first. You can't can't let this. Yep, can't let something like an, an injury uh, stop me. Oh, careful, SpongeBob. All right, I got this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Shouldn't you do something with four wheels first? Nope, this is better. All right, you know what? I just proved that you can beat uncomfortability. Well, I did it. A little uncomfortable, but you know what? It reminds me of the Good Bible job. story today. There was a guy by the name of Daniel who was put in a really uncomfortable situation. Let's watch today's Bible story. Once there was King Darius, and he had many advisors. One of his advisors was Daniel. A dinosaur! 
Definitely not a dinosaur oh. fan. Come on. King Darius and Daniel had a really good relationship, which made his other advisors jealous. So they tricked Darius into making a law that only... Hello. Ben, he's not in the story. That's Edward. Edward likes to hang out in the back. So the advisors tricked Darius into making a law that the people of the kingdom could only worship him. Daniel worshiped God despite what the law said. So the advisors threw him into the lion's den. When in the lion's den, Daniel When, when prayed, in the lion's den, there was a big explosion. Uh, Ben, I don't think that there was a big explosion. <laughs> Ben, come on, no. Oh. So he ended up praying to God that he would save him and shut the mouths of the lions. The angel appeared and saved him. Francis, come on. Oh my goodness. So the king eagerly came and checked on Daniel the next day. He was excited to see that Daniel was still alive and he set him free. He went and threw the advisors into the lion's den. And there was a big rat trap in there. Ah! Isn't that amazing how Daniel, in the middle of an uncomfortable situation that he had no control over, was able to trust God and God blessed him and he had more opportunity to serve after that. That's amazing. You know, one thing in this series about being brave, remember our theme verse is 2 Timothy 1.7, talking about God hasn't given us a spirit of fear or timidity, right? We're not, nope. we're not backing away from things. Nope. But God's given us a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. It's kind of like this. I was thinking about something. If you're comfortable, you will never go anywhere. Okay, so like this, I have a rubber band here. Here's some keys. And if you're uncomfortable, this rubber band is just sitting there. You know, you can never go up anywhere. You're never gonna go up. The only way you can go is down, right? Down, you can never go up. You're trying, nope. You're just always gonna be going down, okay? But when you choose to get into a situation that stretches you, right? Stretches you where you're uncomfortable, you're doing something new. It's in the middle of that situation that slowly and surely in the middle of that situation, you're going to be progressing somewhere. You may not get to the top immediately, but you're going to be moving somewhere. And that's the way it is with, with, uh, with God with us, that when we trust God in an uncomfortable situation, he's going to take us to places that we had no idea of where we would go. I can't stop thinking about the rubber band. Oh, and you know what? Speaking of not having the spirit of fear. Yes. Uh, I believe that you're next. So get ready. Yeah. Speaking of pretzel pants, today's show is brought to you by either Science Time or Horsehair Hairbrush. I can't remember which one. Professor Smiley's Science Time. Hey, Professor! Yes. Look what I'm doing. Oh, wow. You're pretty, pretty cool. All right. Okay, today we're going to learn about the word inertia. That means when a still object won't move unless it has an outside force moving it. You mean like this? Uh, yeah, you're, you're moving. Yes. Something has to move it. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. All right. Okay, so we've got an object here. First lesson is this piece of paper, we're gonna pretend it's a couch. Woo! And, and can this I sit penny, on it? and this penny is gonna be. Hey, Professor, can I sit on it? Uh, no, no. The, the penny's the couch potato. Oh, so you found nice. those in the couch cushions, huh? Yes. So we're gonna see what it takes to make this paper move down the table. Okay, we're gonna add weight to the hook here, a paper clip. And we're going to see how many paper clips it takes to move the paper. You can use paper clips, you can use washers. You can use boulders. <laughs> so let's see how many it takes. Oh, there it did. It moved. Woohoo! All right, let's go to the next one. Now, our next example of inertia is. It doesn't itch anymore, Professor. Oh, oh, good. Okay, we need a cup. You can put water or coins in it. You need to wait. You need to make a paper tube. Then you need an egg. You an can, egg? Yes, you put money in it, or you can put uh, clay in it, or you could have a hard boiled egg. So, now you put the egg on top of there. Now the egg wants to get into the cup down there. 
but it, it, it can't. It can't move. Why can't it? Because it doesn't have legs. So, oh. Yeah. It's not hatched yet. Right. So we need to help it. And now watch this. I'm going to push the pan out from underneath it and watch where the egg goes. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, Woo! It landed in the cup. It landed in the cup. Yes. Okay. Hey, I'll let you do it next. Woohoo! I want to do it. Hey, Professor, you know what this is called? What? Science. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. So we're going to put two eggs for you to do. Can I do it now? Uh, yeah. Don't shake the table. How about now? Is... No. No. Can I do no. it now? Don't shake. The... How about now? All right. Okay. You can go now. Are you sure? Yes. Make... Okay. We're going to count down from three. Three. <laughs> Oh, Woo! Yeah. All right. It yeah. worked. Very good job. All right. Now we're going to go set up for our next experiment. I helped. You sure did. Now for the next experiment we're going to do, we're going to do an effect. It's like a trick. On this tablecloth, we have objects that are heavy, and we're going to pull the tablecloth out from underneath. So you grab the edges and you Put it down here, and you have to pull straight down really fast. Really fast? Yes. Okay, hey, go. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Yes. It's still here. It still is. So what motivates you to move? What would motivate you to spread the good news about Jesus? You know, Jesus was very uncomfortable when he went to the cross for us. Now we can go to him and ask for forgiveness, and he fills us with joy, love, and peace. So that should motivate us to share with other people. Hey, hey Joe. Hey, Joe, are you okay? Hey, Joe. Woohoo! What, what were you thinking? Um, I was just thinking about me pulling the tablecloth. Oh, were you doing Joe vision? Yes, I was. Woohoo! All right. Well, here, let's, let's see what you were looking at here. I want to see it again. All right. <laughs> Oh, yes, my stupid salad. Welcome to Joe's Beast Bistro. Have some diet water. There you go. Indubitably. Okay. Please halt. I have noticed that there is some peasant currency on my table. Yes. I will not be having it. No. You want me to take the penny off the table? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Here we go. Oh, yes, yes, fine, yes. Fine. Fine. Joe, I don't think you should be a waiter. Okay. All right. Oh, I, I got a message. I, I got to go. Um, I'll, I'll see you later, everybody. I got to get uh, this red button to Caleb. He needs help. What? Okay. Francis, he's a naughty cat. He's basically the architect behind all of this. Good Francis. Good <laughs> hey everybody, that reminds me, it's time for our final contestant. No, I'm not. Hey everybody. Yes, sir. Uh, uh. Welcome to the show, old friend. Harry, why are you doing this? That Francis is one pesky cat. Round number four begins. Here is your question. What is the name of the restaurant in Joe Vision? It never said the name of the restaurant in that entire daydream. That's incorrect, Caleb. It was called Chumpy's Bistro. And now it is time to complete the last uncomfortable challenge. This looks like a good enough spot as any to set you free into the wild, it's a trap box. Just be free. Just go back to nature where we won't look back. Before you go, have like a glass of lemonade to aid you in your quest. Now let's just go. And when we go, don't like look back because that's when you cry. Get out of here, trap box. Dolphin boy, stop getting so emotional, dude. Oh, 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 I don't like this. <laughs> what? 
are you from your Help! 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 Oh, oh, blue. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. It's working. I'm uncomfortable, but it's okay. It's working. It's been a good one, I tell you. I'm uh, gonna play again. Just press the old button. Hey, everybody. Congratulations. You have unlocked all the locks and you may now leave the box. Thank you for playing. We did it! We're free! We're free! No. Never again. So good. Hey, kids. Thank you so much for helping us escape that crazy box. Don't forget. Sometimes we have to be uncomfortable to accomplish the great things that God has for us to do. You were the best part of these three episodes about being brave. And what did we learn these last three weeks? You have to face your fears. You have take to take a stand. Take a stand and overcome. Be uncomfortable. Yeah. Now let's get out of here. Yeah. New series coming next week. Yeah. No, that's not what we're saying. Woohoo! I'm gonna make some more films. See you next time, kids.